As universities and colleges around the U.S. close, many international students have returned to their home countries. But aside from adjusting to online learning, they have to adjust to a whole new schedule. So my first class is tomorrow. Um, yeah, so it's a three-hour class that starts, for me, it starts at 12.30 a.m. And we'll go to like 3.30 a.m. These students are living in Asia and studying on U.S. time. And I always have this big chunk in the middle between like midnight and like 4 a.m. where I don't have class, but I'll have like, I'll try and fit in like meetings that I might have for, I, I work a job on campus as well. So meetings for that or like meetings with professors, I'll try and drop into office hours, all this. And then I have um, a class at 4.45 a.m. that runs till 6 a.m. Um, my time every single day. So my bedtime's looking at usually 6.30 or 7 a.m. The abrupt end of their semesters in the U.S. and return home has left international students anxious about keeping up trying to figure out like the time differences a little bit. Like, even though I say it's 13 hours, like whenever I write it down on my calendar, I'm not sure if I should put it in American time and then in the comments, like put like, oh, it's actually due on this date. Like, yeah, I I'm still not really comfortable with that. Trying to juggle two worlds in one 24 hour <laughs> clock while staying healthy okay, is heavy lifting. It's also like, you know, the staying healthy portion of things. So it's like you eat your meals, but then you like try to get like a workout in every day. And like, I'm trying to like find the time to do that, but then also not like tire myself out right before I like have to like start my whole night. Um, so it's just been like a lot of shifting. Until the COVID-19 pandemic is over, students globally will have to adapt to changes in education that no one saw coming. Isha Sarai, VOA News, Washington. Being pragmatic and wanting to trade and benefit their own population. And on the